Papa Squat. Coming at ya. Hey everybody, it's Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. The last day of February of this year. Uh, today we're going to listen to a song from Mr. Lil One, or uh, Lil Uno, or Lil Uneasy, <laughs> a.k.a. the Boogeyman himself. Um, so, Mr. Lil One, uh, Latin rapper, um, or Latin X rapper, Latino, I guess it would be, um, and been around for a long time, since 1996, and he's produced a lot of music over the years, and we had someone recommend him to me today with the song Never Trust a Soul, which I believe is from 1996, or maybe 1998, I forget, um, but let's jump in here and give it a listen. Two minutes, 46 seconds, so it's pretty darn short. Something told me. Never trust us. So. Really nice, uh, like, kind of flowing, easygoing song. Loved his delivery, especially in a couple of those um, lyrics where he really had to... I mean, it almost seemed like it was flowing. Like, he was specifically trying to, to not have super solid consonants. And it, it sounds great. It's just such a cool effect. Never trust us so. So, once again, I listen to this music, and there's not, there's not a lot to it, right? Like, it's a pretty basic beat, for sure. Um, it's, it's not a dance song, really. Um, and there's a little bit of piano there, and I think a little, even a little snare drum, and, and, but there's not a whole lot there, and yet, there's plenty of sound coming at you, and... It doesn't sound like really almost... We're so used to hip-hop filling in all these weird sorts of music and, and meshing them together in this way that it just... Because they put this beat over it, it's considered hip-hop. And it's just the craziest thing. And it's, I know I mention that a lot, but when you really listen to this music, there's... There's no reason why it's all under this one umbrella because it's so incredibly diverse. The one that's real to the cause of your boss. I can hear it in the scream, so depressing, reminiscing how she's feeling. I'm only guessing, but the question I was dressing, I begin to comprehend as I'm looking around. Ain't no one around them all. The love, love the way he does that. It's great. And remember, he made the conscious choice to record it that way. Like, he may have done this two, three, four, five, twenty times in a more traditional way. I don't really know what that means, but, you know, like harder consonants harder stops he could have done it more aggressively he could have done it softer like the, this is the w thing he ended up doing that he thought represented what he wanted to produce and it's so cool sounding so remember this shit there's a lot of focus snakes in this goddamn world
for a not even three minute song, it seems yeah. plenty long. Trust no motherfucking soul. Huh. Yeah, good song. Um, it's it's really kind of a nice, laid-back, uh, really well-performed. I mean, just really fantastic. I love the way he, he... Just the way his flow works and what he's doing with with the words. And, the, and it just sounds fantastic. Very, very cool. I uh, like this a lot. I, and I'm pretty sure I've listened to some of his stuff before. Maybe I'm confusing him with anybody else who has the word Lil in their name, because I know we've done a couple of them. Um, and as I've said before, I don't like that name, so it stands out to me, and that's the only thing I remember about those names. Uh, Pop Squad! Check it out! Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much. Have yourself a good rest of the week. Bye.